Um, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about what I am going to call the five minute face. Um, I know that most of my looks are pretty in depth and I spend a decent amount of time doing them so I wanted to do a video tonight that um, anyone can pull off in just a couple minutes. Um, it's pretty quick, it's pretty neutral, and um, really anyone could do it. So let me just take a second and take off the makeup I have on now. Okay. And so I have a fresh face now and I'm ready to start. And the first thing I want to do is talk to you about um, what we're going to use. Um, first I want you to pick three eyeshadow colors. You're going to pick one color that's going to be on your lid. You're going to put one color a little bit in the crease corner here and one color to highlight under your brow bone. It really doesn't take that long. This is what I'm recommending. I'm recommending that you go to um, Frosting Bath and Body's website. Um, they have an, Ep an Etsy site. Um, and um, I'm recommending you pick three Frosting Bath and Body colors. You can also find them on Facebook. Frosting Bath and Body. Um, the colors that I picked, which I think anyone can really get away with, are Whipped. We're going to use that as our highlighting color. Um, we're going to do Couture, which is a very light pink on the lid, and we're going to do Brown Sugar, which is a light brown for the crease. It's very neutral, it's very easy to blend, and any skin tone can get away with it. The second thing you're going to need is a brush. Um, I have a brush that's got two ends on it. One is um, for blending and putting it on. The other one is more of a, a rounded tip end. Um, I'll probably end up using both, but as long as you have a brush with one, you'll be good. You also need mascara. I recommend black for everyone to use. We're still going to use a primer even though we're going fast. This is Urban Decay's um, shadow primer. Um, called Potion and it's awesome. Grab a lip gloss and grab a foundation that goes on pretty easy for you. This is what I'm going to call our first team here and this is for um, when you're in the quickest quickest mornings. This is the essential set of what we need. If you have a few extra minutes grab an eyeliner. Urban Decay 24-7 will be the fastest easiest to glide on. Um, grab a blush. A um, few extra minutes, grab a concealer or a highlighting pencil. And if you have extra time, you can use a, um, you know, a pressed powder, bronzer, um, highlighter. This is a, called the Sculpting Disc by uh, Sephora makes this one. But those are some extras. If you don't have time, I mean, if you're really in a bind, then we're going to go with our eye primer, our three eyeshadow colors, a brush, a mascara, a foundation, and your gloss. The context. So, um, we're gonna dab a little bit of the pro the primer potion by Urban Decay on our lids and rub it in. This doesn't take a long time. It's an extra ten seconds. Definitely worth it. It'll make your stuff last a lot longer. See, done. Now, while that's still a little bit sticky, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna grab on some of the Couture, which is that light pink pigment, and we're gonna stipple it over the eyelid. Just like that. I'm gonna get more on. You know how I am. I like a lot. You go with what you feel comfortable with. Okay, don't worry about being perfect. We will blend at the end. See, pretty neutral. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Stipple that right in. It spreads out pretty good. A little goes a long way on this. Ignore my phone ringing in the background. Alright, so now we've got the couture on. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my um, brown sugar. Um, a little goes a long way on this again too. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a triangular shape. Pull it down in here, okay, and we're going to do the same thing up here, we're going to go up, we're going to go down, we're, make, we're just contouring it a little bit here, make a nice triangle, don't worry if some of it's falling to the skin under the eye, we didn't do the, the foundation yet, and that was why, okay, so now we've got a little bit of a contour, we've got the pink and the brown on, okay. Like I said, this is going to be pretty neutral, not what you're used to seeing on me, but I wanted to do something that I thought would work for most people. Okay, let's see, I'm getting my brown in there. Okay. 
you get somewhere you don't want it, it's easy to just go back and kind of wipe it off. All right. Next step is your highlighting under your brow. And that is exactly what it sounds like. You don't need a lot of this, and you're going to blend it pretty well. Just go back and forth. You can even get it in the brow at this point because we haven't um, done anything to our brows. Okay, highlighting under the brow with our whiter color here. Okay, feel free to use your fingers to blend. This needs to come down some. There we go. Okay. Now, mascara. I normally prime my eye, my uh, eyelashes, but if you're in a hurry, skip the primer and go right for the mascara. See how I wiggle it back and forth like that? That separates your lashes. Make sure you're getting it down as close to the to the lash line as you can get it. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Okay. There we go. We're going to go the other side now. Same thing. Wiggle it in there. Again, I'm doing this without a mirror, so I'm not 100% sure what that now, looks like. Now we're in a hurry, so I'm not even going to use the brush. My hands are clean. I'm going to dump a little bit of foundation out onto my uh, the back of this hand. I'm going to get it on my hair, and I'm going to rub it in. Nope, same thing on the other side. I'm on like hyper speed right now. Promise you guys a five minute face. And that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're foundationed up. Now we are going to grab our gloss. We are going to swipe it on the top and the bottom. We are not going to press our lips together. We're going to keep it like that because that will keep it on. No smushing. And look at that. Fresh face. Under, and we did it in 5 minutes and 44 seconds. So we were a little over, but I was also kind of teaching as we went along. So imagine how fast you can do that after you've done it a couple times. I would recommend adding eyebrow. So, you got an, an extra minute or so here. We're going to grab the brow. Um, I use powder and a brush. This might be really funny without me using a mirror. I'm going to end up with like drag queen eyebrows, but that's okay. Okay, assuming I got that on remotely where I wanted it. Do you see the difference that makes in my eyes? It really frames the face. I have no idea if I'm getting this on the eyebrow or not. Oh. This would make a fun contest. Maybe I'll make a contest where you have to put the make your makeup on without looking in the mirror and see who does it best. If I was, if I had extra time and was going to add liner, I would do it definitely before the mascara. Um, so I'm not going to do that step right now. I am going to get out my sculpting disc here. Put a little fresh or er, pressed powder all over my face. I'm going to use this this bronzing part here right under my cheekbone. I'm going to draw a line that's going to contour my face a little. I'm going to use the highlighting part right over my cheekbone. Okay, and a little bit on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. If you wear blush, I sometimes do, I sometimes don't. Now would be a good time. Look at this. See that? And we're done. Not a super dramatic look, nothing really super exciting, but it's a nice, fresh face. Looks great, you know, indoors, outdoors, going to work, going, you know, to do something active or sporty. Um, it just makes it look like you put a little bit of effort in, and it really didn't take that much time and, at all. And um, I'd love your feedback.